Hello and welcome to the uh, live calm meditation on the Lupus LA page. Welcome everyone. And um, if you're jumping on after this or watching the replay, I just wanted to uh, say hello to you as well. And um, I'm coming to you guys live from Los Angeles, California, and I'd love to know where you guys are tuning in somewhere in the world, because I know we have people that are coming from, from tuning in from everywhere. And you know what this time, what we're going through right now is such an unprecedented time and it's affecting everyone and especially, you know, you guys and lupus patients. And so I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Dawn Hassman and I'm a lupus patient myself. Um, so I'm one of you guys. And I was diagnosed with lupus in 2007. I started having, you know, all these weird symptoms and, you know, one thing led to another and diagnosis of lupus with an overlap of Hashimoto's, which of course then turned into other things like everyone else's story. Thank you for sending the hearts and, and likes so I know that you guys are there. Um, this is always kind of weird, like being live and not having that interaction like a Zoom call. But anyway, so I'm happy to offer this to you guys. So I became a certified hypnotherapist and EFT practitioner probably about six, seven years after my diagnosis. And what I found by using the tools that I learned for myself and also using like acupuncture, mindfulness, breathing techniques is that I was able to reduce my stress, hi, hi Monique, reduce my stress level significantly. And because I used to walk around, you know, with my heart racing all the time, sort of in that you know, kind of low grade anxiety, fight, flight, survival mode all the time. And what I found was once, oh, hi, hi, Brian. Oh, you're coming from Redondo Beach. Well, welcome. So you're not too far away. <laughs> um, so what I found by using a lot of these techniques was that I was able to calm down my parasympathetic nervous system, whether it was meditation or acupuncture or cupping or um, trigger point injections at the UCLA East West Clinic. You know, there's so many great uh, tools available to us that we can incorporate. So I'm not gonna go over like take a bath and you know, clear your mind type of stuff. I really wanna give you guys and use this time to give you guys really solid, valuable, tools that you can use and then we're going to go into a guided um, you know meditation or relaxation exercise so first of all um, let's go ahead and create just a little bit of energy in our hands um, and our bodies so one way to do this is you can start um, you know rubbing your hands together and just kind of creating some energy you know, we're all made of energy. Our bodies are made of energy. The table that I'm sitting in front of is made of energy. You know, science proves that we're all made of energy. So sometimes if we're not, you know, if we're having a flare or having a hard time, one great thing is just to create your own energy. So just rub your hands together and you're gonna to start to feel a little bit of friction and maybe a little tingling. And whatever you're feeling is okay. So now go ahead and, and you know, kind of put your hands apart for a moment. And just notice what you notice. For me, I feel a little bit of like, kind of like a buzzing, like a vibration in my hands. And that's your own energy. You're activating your Kundalini energy by doing that. So if you have any areas of your body that are particularly acting up, like for me, my neck and shoulders are a lot of times where I carry some tension. I've also had two knee replacement surgeries, um, so sometimes I need extra energy there. So go ahead, once you've done that for like a minute or so, go ahead and, and you know, just bring your, ener your hands apart a little bit and just feel that energy for a moment. That's your energy. That's your personal energy. So then you can put that wherever you need it, whether it be your neck, your shoulders, your legs, your elbows, wherever you feel like you need some extra TLC. So that's one thing that you can kind of do to, um, you know, just activate your personal energy. 
the second thing uh, that I always recommend to to clients and, and people, I also actually am the group facilitator for the Lupus LA Westwood support group that meets the first Tuesday of every month. And so I'm very honored to have that position and, and be of service to, to you guys and to this community. So the next thing that I'd like to go over is um, a four, seven, eight breath. And breath is so important. You know, most of us go around every day and we're not, you know, really doing that deep breathing, that conscious deep breathing. And what breathing does, this deep breathing, this mindful breathing, is that it also helps to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. And the parasympathetic nervous system, I mean, I'm not a doctor, <laughs> but my understanding is the parasympathetic nervous system is the system that comes in to get you out of that fight, flight, freeze mode, that survival area of the mind, which we all have. I mean, we were all born with these innate survival instincts. So for example, say if you're you know, in the jungle in the good old days and you come across the tiger, what are your options? You can fight the tiger, you can flee the tiger, or you can play dead and hope the tiger goes away, you know, camouflage yourself. So, but in modern society, obviously there aren't too many tigers running around, hopefully, but if there are, you know, that's okay too. Um, but in our modern society, what that, you know, kind of old school survival area, the mind, fight, flight, freeze, equates to now is stress, anxiety, and depression. Because think about it, if you're not feeling good about yourself, what do you want to do? You just want to, maybe you want to sleep or you want to go inward and you just want to hold yourself up and, and play small in life. And, you know, being lupus patients, stress is a huge, huge factor for our well-being. So having good, helpful um, coping mechanisms and, you know, sometimes you may resonate with a tool and then a few years later, you may find that you need something different. So sometimes we things come into our lives at different points in our lives to help us through a certain time. So the 478 breath was actually one that um, my rheumatologist taught me. So we're going to breathe in for four, and then we're going to hold our breath for seven, and then breathe out for eight. And if you can't hold it for seven or you know, breathe out for eight, you can do four, four, and four. So breathe in for four, hold it for four, breathe out for four. Um, oh, hi, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> Watching from Argentina. Wow. So we've got an international audience here. Wonderful. This is so exciting. LA for this opportunity to be of service to you guys. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and practice this. And we're I'm going to do the four, seven, eight breath. But if for some reason you can't, you're not able to hold it that long, then just do four, breathe in for four, hold for four, and exhale for four. Okay, so we're going to do this together. So breathing in for four, holding for four, one, two, three, four, and exhaling. One, two, three, four. Breathing in. Holding. One, two, three, four. And exhaling. One, two, three, four. Oops, sorry. I did the wrong breath. I did the four, four, four breath. Okay, so that's okay. You guys get the gist of it. So, um, wonderful. So that's the four, four, four. Or if you like, if you are you know, if it's easy for you to do the four, four, four breath, then you can do the four, seven, eight breath. So let's do that real quick. So breathing for four, holding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, breathing out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathing for four, one, two, three, four, and I breathe in, sorry, real quick, I breathe in through my diaphragm into the stomach and out through the mouth. You know, some people, there's different different types of breathing. Some people pr prefer to do it in and out the mouth or in and out the nose. So whatever you're comfortable with works. Okay, so breathing in one, two, three, four, holding it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhaling for one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. Wonderful. So that's another tool. The last tool I'm going to show to you guys uh, before we get into the guided meditation, because I want to make sure I leave lots of time for that, is um, called an anchor. Now, an anchor is just a, a small physical movement, like, for example, maybe rubbing the thumb and the, um, the first finger or the thumb and the middle finger, or you can tap. You can tap the fingers or rub the fingers, any small little, or you can, you know, maybe tug on your ear or touch your nose. Well, we're not supposed to touch our faces right now, I guess, but touch your nose or rub your ear. Anything that's just a small physical gesture that you can do anywhere at any time. So for most of my clients, most of my clients, oh, hi, Jackie. Hi, Jackie from Temecula. <laughs> Jackie and I have known each other since um, high school. She's good friends with my sister. Hi, good to see you. Um, so an anchor is just a small gesture. Um, so for me, um, I like to um, use the thumb and middle finger. So, so just slightly rubbing. And then we're going to take a nice big deep breath and exhale and calm and relaxed calm and relaxed we're going to do that two more times inhaling exhaling on calm and relaxed as you're rubbing or tapping or whatever gesture you decided to do calm and relaxed calm and relaxed okay one more time Calm and relaxed, calm and relaxed. Okay, so how did that feel? <laughs> Drop a heart if that felt good into the comments. And um, so what is, this is doing is it's anchoring a small physical gesture to a desired result, such as calm and relaxed. So that's the third tool I wanted to introduce you to today. And um, now we're gonna go ahead and get into the guided imagery, thank you for the hearts, guided imagery and meditation. So this is a non-denominational meditation. I may use the word, I like to use the word universe. So if you prefer to use the word God or Buddha or whoever, whatever resonates with you, feel free to do that. Okay, so um, just go ahead and get a com in a comfortable position, and it's fine um, if you're laying down or just not, you know, please don't do this while you're driving, of course. Um, and so just get in a comfortable position, and if you can, just make sure that your, um, your ankles and legs are uncrossed if possible. If not, that's okay too. So whether you're sitting or standing or laying down, um, this is a really great um, imagery uh, relaxation tool, um, this guided imagery. And you know, there's many different types of of meditation. So I just wanted to invite you, you know, a lot of people think, oh, meditation, I've got to be Zen and go like this and Om. That's not necessarily true. That is one type of meditation, but there are walking meditations. There's meditations that people are guiding you through, like a guided meditation. There's also silent meditation. So there's many different types. And, you know, a great resource, and I'm sure um, those of you who live in LA, but those of you who don't, um, the UCLA has the Mindfulness Awareness Research Pro uh, Center, Mark, I believe it's mark.ucla.edu, and I can post it later in the comments, and they have um, guided, free guided meditations on that website and also podcasts. So that's another great tool. I know there's, you know, many different um, apps like Calm, Headspace that you can go to, to to download some free meditations. And just again, just find what, what really resonates with you and what really clicks with you. That's the most important thing is to find something that feels good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close my eyes and just go ahead by start to taking in a nice couple of deep breaths. Again, you don't want to be chest breathing so much. You want to be breathing, deep breathing into the diaphragm, into your core, into your stomach, and out through the mouth. And if you'd like, you can make like a sigh or a noise and just, you know, just focusing on beginning to release and relax and let go with each and every breath. So I'm going to make a sigh here in a moment. Ah. 
<sighs> so just becoming aware of your breathing for a moment. And after you've taken those nice three deep breaths, just noticing your natural, normal rhythm of breathing. And whether your feet are touching the ground or not, I just want you to begin to notice the connection between the bottoms of your feet and the support beneath. And you may feel a little tingling sensation under your feet, just connecting, just putting your focus there just for a moment on your feet. And in a moment or two, I just want you to begin to visualize or imagine, picture, pretend, that you're out somewhere in nature in your mind. And this could be a place that you're familiar with or one that you're creating in your imagination right now. We all have wonderful, beautiful imaginations. Just like we were when we were kids and we played and we focused on enjoying life and having fun. Just imagine that sense of that happy child, that joyful child. And as you're out in this place in nature, nature is very grounding, nature is very healing. So whether you can see a tree out of your window or you can imagine a tree with these big, thick roots that you've seen before, you create it in your mind, in your imagination right now. And whatever type of tree you are is the right type for you in this moment. And whether your feet are touching the ground or not, in a moment, I want you to begin to visualize or imagine, picture, pretend that as that big, strong tree with its tree roots, that you begin to have these tree roots come out of the bottoms of your feet. And those tree roots begin to come down, down, down into the ground into this beautiful Mother Earth below us. And those roots are going down, 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 grounding you, anchoring you into the support beneath. And not only are those tree roots going down, anchoring you, grounding you into the support beneath, but now, or in a moment from now, Imagine those tree roots begin, beginning to go out farther and farther and wider and wider. Farther and farther and wider and wider, grounding you, anchoring you into the support beneath. Into this beautiful Mother Earth, this beautiful Mother Earth that's in this moment healing and sharing its beauty with us giving us oxygen and support and unconditional love. And now I want you to imagine that those tree roots go so far down into the ground that they touch the center of the earth. And at the center of the earth, there's this beautiful, brilliant, beaming light, this crystal at the center of the earth, and it's beaming this brilliant, gorgeous light of color. 
And whatever color of crystal it is, is the right color for you in this moment. And now in a moment, after your next big deep inhale and release, imagine wrapping your roots around that beautiful color of crystal. And this beautiful color of crystal is radiating courage, calm, relaxation. And on your next big deep inhale and release, I want you to imagine breathing that beautiful color of crystal back up into the soles of your feet. Imagining that beautiful color of crystal coming up into the calves and the knees, the calves of the legs, the shins, the knees. And as you're breathing this beautiful light back up into your body, imagine, visualize and imagine, picture or pretend that it's calming, calming every cell, every muscle, every fiber, every organ, every tissue, every joint in your being. And now breathing that beautiful light up into the thighs, into the hips, into the midsection, into your digestion. Your digestion is easy and relaxed. Your hip muscles relax, the leg muscles release. Relax and let go. Letting go of any tension, any old stories, any stuck emotions that no longer serve you. Any old beliefs any negative energy that you've picked up from the media or from the news or from others or those you're living with. And now breathing that beautiful color of light into your core, into the diaphragm, into your ribs, into the lower back, the mid back, the upper back and all through the spine, the spine relaxing and elongating, creating space between your vertebrae. Now breathing that beautiful light up into the chest, across the shoulder and down the arms and anything you've been shouldering responsibility for just easily and gently drops away in an easy and gentle release. And now breathing that beautiful color of light up into the neck, the neck muscles relaxing, the joints relaxing, the cervical spine releasing, relaxing and letting go. Breathing into the throat, the throat being clear, clear, crystal clear and having clarity to speak up for yourself, to create boundaries, to speak up for your needs, to ask for help when you need help and support. Reaching out to family and friends, expressing yourself in an easy and gentle way. And now imagine that beautiful color of light coming up into the facial muscles, the jaw muscles relaxing, the cheeks, the nose, the eyes, relaxing all the little muscles behind the eyes and the eyelids. 
And now up over the top of the head, imagine that beautiful color of light going all the way up from the bottoms of your feet, all the way up through your spine, up into the brightest star in the night sky. So this beautiful color of light is connecting you up above to the brightest star in the sky, all the way down through your feet and down to the center of the earth, grounding you, anchoring you bringing you present in the present moment. Feeling more centered, calm and relaxed. And now imagine that beautiful color of light all around and all through. And this beautiful color of light is emanating this brilliant light and it gets brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. And it radiates through every cell, regenerating your cells, healing your cells, relaxing them, calming them, giving that message to the brain that in this moment, I choose to be calm in this moment. I choose to be present in the present moment. I choose calm. I choose relaxation. Allowing that beautiful color of light just to radiate around you six inches and beyond. And now, if you like, you can send that beautiful healing energy to anyone, that beautiful healing light to the world, to the universe, to our government to those who are scared, to your friends and family and loved one beaming that beautiful color of light, to all the people in the world that need it the most. Taking a nice big deep inhale and release. And when you're ready, you can blink the eyes open. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, wiggling the fingers and the toes. Coming back into your body, one, two, three, four, five, eyes open, wide awake, feeling nice and calm and relaxed. One, two, three, four, five, eyes open wide awake, feeling calm and relaxed. Oh, sorry, I had some tears come out of my eyes. <laughs> you know, and sometimes, you know, we release in different ways, whether it's breathing, screaming, crying, venting to a friend, just, you know, find the tools that help you during this time. And so thank you so much. Thank you to Lupus LA for allowing me to and inviting me to have this time with you all. And I'll just take a few moments now. If anyone has any questions, um, please feel free to put them in the comments section. And um, also, you know, I believe on Monday, and I'm sure they're going to be posting this, there's going to be another Q&A with um, a local rheumatologist to answer any questions about um, anything you guys might have. Any questions? Hi, Tanya from Buena Park. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, so, yes, wonderful. And and thank you. Yes, yeah, I see someone posted that you don't need the app. Um, the... Um, Free meditations are also on their website as well, the UCLA Mark Mindfulness Meditations. So um, only thought, okay, hi, Sita. Only caught the last few minutes. Well, wonderful. Well, you can watch the replay as much as you like. Oh, thank you, Brian. I'm so glad you were able to tune in. Um, so if you guys have any questions or need support, please feel free to reach out to, to Lupus LA. And um, again, my name is Dawn Hassman. And if you'd like to reach me or if there's anything I can help you with, 
I do offer private one-on-one -on -one sessions uh, for people and um, I'm able to do that via Zoom. Oh, thank you, Monique. Yes, uh, love and health to everyone. And um, so if you'd like to reach me, my uh, website is dawnhypnotherapy.com or Facebook, uh, dot com backslash dawn hypnotherapy so thank you all for watching it's 2 30 so um oh hi lauren oh you're so very welcome thank you guys for you know really thank you for taking this time for you because one of the most important things we can do for ourselves um you know dealing with this this chronic uh, condition is to really take time for ourselves and do the work do these meditations, do grounding, whatever resonates with you. Take the time. You are worth it. And you are worth um, saying yes to yourself. So say yes to yourself and be well, healthy, calm, and relaxed. And thank you again for joining and have a beautiful rest of your day. Okay, bye.